Alrighty, welcome to episode 6 of the Computer Craft Tutorials. So recently uh, there was a TechIt update and when the server was updated it decided to wipe all of my floppy disks. So they're all empty now, which means I lost all my programs. Um, but it's not a big problem. Uh, I was planning on rewriting everything in these tutorials anyway. So this will give me a fresh start and we can start from scratch and you can see the whole process, which is great. I was going to do that anyway, but now I can't actually cheat and look up my old code, so that's fine. So this episode is going to be about arrays, uh, which is arrays are a special kind of variable, which I did not talk about in the episode about variables. Um, so let me show you how this works. Make a program called arrays. So what an array is, it's a variable that can store a large number of data. So you can store multiple numbers or letters or words in there um, in a single variable, which can be very useful at times. And it's also very useful in combination with lists as you can loop through these variables and all the data they contain. Um, and you can create very efficient or small small amounts of code that does a bunch of things at once. So that's great. Um, so I'll show you how to create one. We create a variable. Now normally when you create a variable you go is equal to some kind of number. Um, to create a list or an array, I'm going to stick to the word array for now, that's what it's officially called in Lua. Um, you use these curly brackets, you use an opening one and a closing one and that's it. And then you have your array. Now normally to put something in a variable you would do is equal to 5 or something. Um, for an array what you do is you need to use the straight brackets and then choose which place in the list or the array you want to store your number or letter or whatever, whatever you're putting in. Um, so we're going to go and place 1 for now and we close the bracket and then we can do what we always do and store a number in there. Now an array has basically an infinite number of places where you can store things, so you can store something on the second place of the array. Um, you can ev even go <laughs> into negative numbers, I believe, so we want to store it on place minus one. Um, make it something like that. And you can go as high as you want as well. You can also skip a bunch of numbers and go straight to 100 and store something on place 100. And you don't have to store numbers either, you can store letters as well if you like. So let me just print all of these for you. So that's how you store things in them. To access, you do exactly the same. So we just go array 1 and we can print it like that. Just print 2 as well. Just print all of them. Go print array 100. There we go. So Let's see how this goes. 5, 10, minus 5. Big. Good. That's correct. Excellent. Now, like I said, arrays and loops are friends. So let me show you that. I'll get rid of all this crap for now. So as arrays use um, an index to show you where you want to store your um, items or numbers or letters or whatever uh, and also read them. Um, this index here is a number that goes from one until millions if you like. So this is great for loops. So we could make a for loop um, with the variable i and make it equal to one until say 100 and do and what you do is you take the array and you put things in place i, which is going from 1 until 100. So you can very quickly fill this up with whatever you like. We could fill it up with i times i, end it. So this is basically creating an array which has all of the squares of the numbers 1 until 100. So if we want to print the square of um, 69, <laughs> why did I say 69? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take um, 54 array uh, 54 
and this is going to give you the square of 54. Now, of course, you could just go 54 times 54 and print that, but I'm just trying to make a point here. Um, there we go. That's the, the square of 54. Excellent. So it's stored for the numbers 1 until 100. It's stored uh, the number i times itself, which is the square, of course. And then we can read any number of that and uh, print it on the screen. If we want, we could also just make a for loop, and we could take i is equal to where did my is go? Here we go. Um, let's say we want to print the ones from thirty to thirty-five. We want to know those ones exactly. Well, that's no problem. Whoops. Print it rather than do nothing. Array i and and arrays and there we go. So here's the first one I was printing is 2,916, and then the uh, 30 from 35 are 900, 961, 1,024, and so forth. Edit arrays. There we go. So yeah, that's a quick introduction to arrays. Um, of course, you can also store letters in it. Whoops. Is equal to blink. There we go. You have to give it a place, of course. Um, but it one oh one. And you can also do that in combination with um, numbers in exactly the same array as well. Although, I wouldn't advise doing that very often. But just for an example for now. There we go. So, that's the quick introduction on arrays. So basically you store a bunch of things in a single variable. Um, you just have to um, give the location of where in the list you want to store it. So thanks for watching and we'll see arrays a lot in the coming videos probably, especially when we start implementing uh, actually implementing things on turtles. Um, so see you next time. Next video we'll talk about functions which will be an important part of um, the whole structure of our actual programs. So see you then. Thanks for watching. Um, bye.